Alright, so it should come as no surprise that Draymond Green was arrested for assault. He been mistaking the NBA for the UFC for years. He be soccer kicking dudes balls. He be trying to crush people's esophagus. He low-key my favorite player. But back in 2017, Draymond was arrested in Michigan for trying to smack the teeth out of somebody's mouth. He was allegedly getting heckled by a fan. They was probably calling him trash because we all know he is. But Draymond don't play that. He gave him the hand to God, Draymond was released on a $200 bond. Former Michigan State All-American Draymond Green was arrested on a misdemeanor assault charge early Sunday morning in East Lansing. East Lansing police who were patrolling downtown say they saw Green assault another man. Allen Iverson was somehow sentenced to 15 years in prison. Back when he was 17 years old, AI and his friends were hanging out at a bowling alley. And Allen and his entourage of all African American males would get into a brawl with another group of kids that were Caucasian. Their side of the story is Allen Iverson approached them cursing for no reason. And then one of Allen's friends punched the guy in the back of the noggin and a brawl broke out. A few employees claimed they saw Allen Iverson smash a chair over a girl's head and the witnesses claim they saw AI start the brawl. AI side of the story is he and his friends went to the snack bar for some food and the Caucasian guy walked up and called him a racial slur. Probably called him a nigga. But after the slur, the guy smashed the chair on top of Allen Iverson's head. Before AI could react, a friend grabbed him and dragged him outside away from the chaos. There was reports of 40 to 50 people being involved in the brawl so I just just know it was a lot of people there getting the green eggs and hand beat out of them. But out of all the people involved in the fight, only Allen Iverson and three of his friends were charged and convicted. Allen Iverson would get sentenced to 15 years in prison for the bowling alley brawl. But luckily, the story started getting nationwide attention and Governor Douglas Wilder got involved. Wilder was the first elected African American governor in U.S. history. And just after four months in jail, Governor Wilder would grant Iverson a pardon and the rest is history. The late great Kobe Bryant was accused of grape minus the G. Back in 2004, Kobe was in Colorado for knee surgery, but he was trying to be knee deep in some while staying at some fancy hotel, the front desk clerk, a 19-year-old Caucasian woman, would give Kobe a tour of the property and later would end up in this hotel room. Kobe had hit her with the wrist. But she claims when she tried to leave, Kobe great minus the G the Kobe, who was married to Vanessa Bryant at the time, would admit to doing a freaky deaky with her, but he said it was consensual. Ultimately, the case would take 14 months to be resolved, with his accuser backing out and deciding not to testify so the case was dropped I'm innocent you know, I didn't force her to do anything against her will and I sit here in front of you guys furious at myself so I sit at myself for making a mistake of Adultery. Yeah, I love my wife with all my heart. Gilbert Arenas was Ja Morant before Ja Morant. He was balling on the court and playing with blickies off the court. Gilbert would find himself in trouble for threatening his teammate with a pistol. The situation happened while they were on a plane gambling playing cards. Now I feel broke just saying that. Now Gilbert was known to be arrogant and at the time he was the top paid player on the team. So he would just bully the card game because he had the most money and would talk trash while doing it. Gilbert was a wee wee head, but his teammate Javaris Critton was tired of the shenanigans and wanted smoke. The two would get into an argument which led to threats of shooting one another. Days later in the locker room before a game, Gilbert would decide to leave four pistols on Javaris' chair with a letter saying pick one. Gilbert was telling him to pick which gun he wanted to be shot with. Gilbert was on demon time. But this stunt caused Gilbert to be suspended for the remainder of the NBA season and he would lose his Adidas shoe deal. Gilbert would play two more seasons in the NBA than the next time we saw that Negro, he was hooping in China. Javaris was recently released from prison for manslaughter. Gilbert, lucky it wasn't him. What's the last couple weeks been like for you? Um... Started off okay. It's been a little rough lately, but uh, 
you know, when you try to keep a smile on your face and, you know, make a little fun of yourself, you know, you always keep, you know, upbeat. How are you dealing with all the stuff that's surrounding you right now? Uh, watching a lot of comedy. You know, laughter usually heals uh, pain, so. Eighteen former NBA players was charged with scamming the NBA. They thought they was Batman Kevo. They tried defrauding the NBA's healthcare plan out of millions. Amongst these players were Sebastian Telfair and Glenn Big Baby Davis. The alleged mastermind of the operation was Terrence Williams. He had connections with doctors and dentists in California, so they would create fake invoices stating the player came in to get veneers or a root canal or see the chiropractor. You know they was just running up medical bills whole time the nba players somewhere chilling eating toaster strudels the nba would pay the bill for these invoices and these thieves would split the profits it wasn't a bad operation if i do say so myself but greed get everybody in the end terrence williams would get sentenced to 10 years in prison the 18 NBA veterans are accused of ripping off the league's health benefits plan by filing fake claims for medical procedures that never happened. According to the indictment, they submitted nearly $4 million worth of claims. The health plan paid out $2.5 million. Williams allegedly got $230,000 in kickbacks from the other players.